It's a racing car. It's a race car. See, now the price just went up. That's a definite problem. What's going on guys? Today me and Charles are working on an engine that y'all probably have never seen before. This is an old military surplus four cylinder, 32 cubic inch. I heard it's probably around 30 horsepower. It's a four cylinder air cooled engine. The man reads the brochure. Yes. Well, actually this tag on top <laughs> of the, uh, on top of the engine. Uh, it, it's a really cool engine four cylinders. It has the uh, sealed ignition uh, wires. So this thing can like get submerged in water and stuff and it'll still run. That's pretty cool. So it's really cool. And uh, we're going to put it on a go-kart today. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. I think somebody's used this for pulling around the yard. When no it tell. Work. But look, look at it. Here, let's just yeah. get a, let's get a. She's, uh, she's it's pretty, pretty bad. Beat up. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's, it's, 20 bucks worthy. But I like it. It doesn't, it, it, it's pretty bad. Okay, it might be a little small. Okay, so. And, and the reclining seat is kind of small. Oh, cool. dude, it's a, it's, a, it's a racing cart. It's a race cart. That, see, now the price just went up. Race carts on Marketplace Ooh. are like $1,500. <laughs> it's got, the brakes still work. You know what, dude, we got we can't do this. Look. The floor pan's not welded anymore. That's, you know, we're done. Okay. You can just take it back. It's all right. Not a problem. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm just kidding. But these wheels are pretty cool. They're split rims. Oh boy, they might not come apart. But that's okay. I mean, this was just an idea. I like it though. This is just an idea. We're, this is on the table. Well, not yet. We're about to put it on the table. You know, the engine's on the table. Yeah, let's go check out that engine. So I don't know anything about this engine. It was sitting in an, a small uh, engine repair shop and I got it for free. So thank you, Rachel. And uh, she had no idea any info or anything on this engine. So it might be blowed up. We don't know. So the first thing we need to do is we need to fire this thing up. We need to check, see if it's got oil in it. We need to check to see if it's got spark. It looks like brand new oil in it. Um, I'm, I'm skeptical. Military surplus. You can actually mm. still buy these. They're like 400 bucks online. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I think we should fire it up right there on the table. I, that's what I plan on doing. Okay, that's cool. What I plan. So we need to check to see if it's got sparks. So let's get a battery so we can maybe turn this thing over by the starter and see if we have ignition. Yep. All right, all right. Will they work? Here. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Scare me, man. <laughs> I, okay, <laughs> definitely do not do that. Please do not do that. All right, let's see. Well, darn. So we got a, a, a bad, bad, starter? bad starter, maybe? Let me get a hammer. Ah! Hey! Hold on. Hold on. That starter's bad. It's not. Let me lube that. Let me lube yeah. the. Uh... All right, so we're getting somewhere. Just kind of. We're just gonna bathe that thing lubing, back in there. Lubing some stuff up in there. Yeah. So the the gear that needs to jump out off the starter to yeah. come in line with the flywheel, it's just spinning right now. It's not wanting to slide. So. so here's the starter, and our starter's spinning over barely. Yeah. But it, it, the gear is not engaging our flywheel here. So Charles lubricated it up, and we're gonna try to try it again and see Let's if we can get anything. Oh, you got a flashlight. Well, let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, I see some movement. Yep. Okay. So it's engaged now. Oh well, now now it's not engaged. You know what? Let me see if I can find some better jumper cables, because okay, those That's things fine. could be absolute garbage. They're like the cheapest things you can get at like the local parts store. Yeah, but this seems to be going good. Well, we can try it again then. Yeah, I mean, you're well, yeah, we'll might as well. Oh. So you gotta, you gotta have a, you have a really nasty screwdriver that you don't care about. Yeah. It's 
So we're having problems with the uh, starter right now. And so you don't care about this? No, it was found outside. Okay. Let's try the jumper of the starter right here. You ready? Yeah. It's a little rusty, so it might take a bit. You want me to go clean, off, clean it off? For those of you who are wondering, something's happening. But I guess I'll yeah. go clean this. Clean that, and I'm going to clean up the, uh, the starter over here. So here's the starter right here. What we've got is we, you clamp the positive post to this. And then you jumper across to that smaller post. Hopefully you can see it. The lighting is poor. Um, and it's supposed to in, engage at that point. The starter's supposed to clip over. And I noticed that we got a loose connection here. And, well, okay. That's a definite problem. So, Charles, we're going to have to pop this back off the uh, starter. And we're going to have to reattach this if we can. Because oh, imagine... Yeah. Part, okay. Parts for this are going to be a little hard to find, I bet. Man, if we were behind enemy lines, I would be upset. But good thing, what, who was in that movie? Owen Wilson? Yeah, good thing I'm here. Here we go. Oh, you got started off already? Yeah, started off. Oh. Hey. I totally forgot about this, buddy. It's military, right? Uh huh. It's 24 volts. Oh! 24 volts. Crap. DC. <laughs> that is, makes sense. This yep. was made in Toledo, Ohio. I was there in le less than a week ago. And you know, and you probably already know this. Yeah. But the the reason why they did 24 volt. Didn't I tell you the story? Well, the 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 24 volt like with the military jeeps is because 12 volts gets you a certain amount of range with the radios. Right. But 24 volts gets you double the range. Right. So they just made everything work with 24 yeah. volts. Yeah. And it gave you two batteries for starting and whatnot, because like, I think one of our, one of our Jeeps, uh, what is it like? I think it went back to 12 volts for the starter, but everything else is 24. Or so I could be wrong. Maybe that was a retrofit. Uh, that thing is solid right there. I'm hoping that undoing this. I like how it is. you may you may have to like. I, I might have to separate the whole starter to get this yeah. solenoid off. I hope not. I'm hoping to take this off. Oh, look at that. There's, there's an F right there. That's foreshadowing our situation. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, we're going to have to split this whole yep. thing. So it's, we got to take these out. Yep. And, and we're going to have to take this off to get Dang. Off. All right. some junk. So that looks like 3 8 dude. This thing is like sticking. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. okay. Hold it's on. got O-rings in it. Oh, well, it's because it's waterproof. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm oh, pulling oh, out. That, oh, crap. Did the brushes just come Yeah, undone? the brushes just dropped. Hold on. Yeah, here's the brushes right here. So, all right. Well, that's far enough. And we'll just be careful and we'll just reassemble. So I gotta take this backing off. Okay, yeah, the brushes. How do the brushes look? Do they look? They're, they're intact. I mean, you can read the part numbers on them. They Wait. definitely got some wear, but I, I wouldn't worry about it. All right. There it is. You gotta be careful not to break that wire. It'd be a bad day if I did. Don't have a lot of solder, but it's the it's the angel hair style. So, but uh, I get an extension cord so we can do it here. There we go. Oh, look at that! We can we can even clean up our little hook uh, connectors. Be good to go. So, I'm gonna get this uh, piece this piece re-soldered back into here and uh, clean it up and we we should be good to go wait a minute what's that oh that's the piece that broke off uh oh well I mean it's all right I'm gonna solder it in oh okay yeah so that oh broke that's the off. cap oh wow it really did break it off. broke off 
So I got the starter back together and guess what? It's doing the same exact thing. So you know what? We're going to scratch the starter and we'll just start it up with, with this starter. All right, folks, we've been wanting to work with these guys for a long time, and today is the day. So we are super excited to announce that today's video is sponsored by Raycon. These Raycon Everyday Earbuds are so comfortable with these gel tips designed to fit perfectly in your ears, and they have an astounding eight hours of playtime with a 32-hour battery life on the charging case, too. Also, their price won't run you dry because they are half the price of the other premium audio brands but you don't have to stay totally dry while using them because they are also sweat and water resistant. Rain, nothing, accidental wash, piece of cake. Trust me, I tried it and they still work great. These things also have a ton of cool features like controlling the volume, skipping songs, answering or ending calls and activating your voice assistant. But my favorite touch features are definitely the sound profiles. Just hold your left earbud for three seconds each time to toggle between the sound profiles. First, you have pure sound, which is ultra refined, perfect for podcasts and audiobooks. Then you have balanced sound, which has been carefully leveled for listening to a wide variety of music. And last, you have bass sound, which is for y'all who like some extra oomph behind your beats. On the other side, if you hold down the right earbud for three seconds, you can toggle between noise isolation and awareness mode. Raycons are set to noise isolation mode by default, which is my preferred mode because it keeps me in the zone when I'm editing or on phone calls. But if you want to talk to your friends without interrupting your favorite song or podcast, awareness mode is for you. It's perfect for places like the gym and around the house when you're watching the kids or cooking your favorite dinner and you don't want to miss the oven timer again. I've been there. I like my Raycons when I'm working solo in the shop because they stay in my ears so well. Seriously, hours on end and I don't get any ear fatigue. And also when I'm on video meetings because I can talk straight through the earbuds. If I had these back when I was in school, I probably would have been a bit more efficient. And school's back in session, which means Raycon is having their annual back to school sale. For a limited time only, get 20% off site-wide plus free shipping. So support our channel and go to buyraycon.com slash cars to get 20% off and free shipping on your Raycon order. The link's in the video description. I think the price will shock you as well. Thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the go-kart. We got to check for sparks, so we're going to remove a spark plug wire, which is shielded, and we're going to check for spark. Some of these have electronic ignition, and some of them are points. Looks like a hot water line. Yeah. I guess since we're going to hold. Yep. Yep. Let's go with all right. All right. There's no holes in all. Oh. Well, it might shock me out of those, but anyway. Oh, it's insulated on the that? outside. Yeah, I'll do it like this. All right. That way. Oh gosh, I better not drop the camera. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, where? Where? Right there. Yeah. That. That. Is that it gonna mess nice. up that spring? What spring? The the on no. 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 Okay. You ready? Yeah. We got spark. We got spark. That's good. Yeah. Didn't you read that they have? Ignition problems? Yeah. Good. This one Let, doesn't. Let's, let's see if uh, the kill switch works because we might need to know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, works. yeah. Hey, and I didn't get shot. Yeah. Kill switch right, works. Here. here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's nice. All right, all right. Yep, yep, yep. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't watch both. <laughs> all three. I don't know. Well, trust me. We got There's a lot good. going on. Lightning. It's aluminum. That's a belly that's pan. A oil, or that's the oil pan. But hold on. Where, where can where you get? Where would the engine lock be? Right there. Is it covered yeah. entirely with tin? I think it is. But even well, that, that looks that's great. aluminum. That's aluminum. Yeah, the tins are aluminum. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool. The valve covers are aluminum. I'm pretty sure this whole thing is an aluminum block. Awesome. Well. Uh, Nitrous. Or wait. Yeah. Aluminum block. Oh, wait, what is it? Nitrous or turbo? I can't remember. Right. One block's better for the other. I think you want cast iron for any uh, High, added. I don't know. You know, stuff. I'm, as you can tell, I'm not an LS guy. I'm a small block Chevy guy. Okay. Yep. Clockwise. Yep. Right? All right. It's 
Like, I can feel the heat. It's definitely firing. It acts like it wants to do something. All so right, I think what we got to do is we got to take the carburetor apart because I've got fuel pouring out. Every time I lift the tank up, uh -huh. fuel pours out at this point, okay. right there at the carburetor. So, so we might have to take drop the, the bowl of the carburetor. That's not too bad. I've never had one of these apart. This is a very unusual looking carburetor. Uh, this thing could really use an upgrade like a Makuni. No not... wonder this necks it down. Yeah. Yeah, because it goes from that yeah. down into the uh, the manifold, the intake manifold. All I got to say is it's cute. Oh, wow, that is. Did you get it? Hey, yeah, buddy. Uh, of course, the gasket's all jacked up now. All Mountain Dew. Yeah. We're not even 100% sure it was uh, in there correctly, oh, really? but it's got a lot of garbage. Yeah, like you said yourself, it looked like someone had been in here already. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So that's interesting. And this little needle here, that's the fuel cutoff. <laughs> it sure is. The needle goes and it cuts off the fuel right in there. To that thing right here? Uh, to, yeah, for that right, right there. Cover off. Just gonna pull the valve cover off. See what happens. Okay. Might be making a mistake. Well, at least there's three more. It feels like it's come loose. All right. Yeah, we don't know what these are. But we're gonna find out. Look at that gasket that's trying to rip. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. So it's nothing. It's an upside down Volkswagen. Because the uh, rockers are the other way, the tubes are underneath the engine on a Volkswagen. I think we should take all these valve covers off and make sure we don't have a stuck valve. Okay. I mean, but I doubt we do. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I really doubt it, but wouldn't that be something? It'd be but something I, to go through all this and. Yeah, you know, it's funny. All these. All these uh, covers are warm, like they've been firing. Oh, okay. So we got the cover off. We're gonna just watch the valves work. <laughs> See, this one's warm, but that one's cold. So it's definitely hitting on one side and then the other, but not all four.
<laughs> I'm oh. killing that bolt. Oh no. Okay, well we'll replace it before we can't. Um bad good. It sounded pretty cool. It was blowing like fire out too. Yeah, I got it on film. Yeah, it was pretty cool. See I'm wondering if it's carburetor issues. McCooney. Let's do it. I kind of feel like this thing might be out of time with the way it's wanting to run. So it looks like there's ignition stuff underneath this front cover. So I'm going to take this uh, pulley off and I'm going to see about getting underneath that cover and see if there's any type of timing we can do to this thing. Yep, right now. That way we can get a little bit more access to this setup. Yep. That's the ignition system. That's cool. Alright, so I've been going on some forums on these engines, and apparently. From 06. They are a booger to start. Also, you can flip these coils over by accident if you're replacing them and you can install them wrong. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to flip these coils over and I'm going to try to crank it again. Here we go, crank yep. it. Can, <laughs> the can you imagine came, pulling up? The bolt came loose. I know, the bolt came <laughs> loose, but you know, funny. it's nothing. But dude, this thing sounds really good. I'm glad that, well, yeah, I'm glad that uh, pulley didn't come off and go across the That would yeah. uh, John's trip. It sounds just like a Volkswagen engine. Mm -hmm. This has got to be the most, my cousin's got a go-kart if I've ever seen one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, this one was 20 bucks, and... As far as I know, that one was pretty cheap, too. I can't remember. I think it was Chicken Farm. Mm, or Chicken Farm Go-Kart. Right? I don't think that. I think it was another one. Okay. I think it was another one. I, I'm not sure. John's got a great memory. He'll know. Like so, we got these, so we've got these two go-karts, and one of these go-karts is going to wind up with that engine on it, which is going to be awesome. But before we even try to figure out which go-kart this goes on, there's something I want to see if this engine will fit on. It's right over here. All right. So close. It won't. Well, we're not. We're not modifying that frame. No. Don't worry. But we're not it touching it. Would be awesome. That. It'd be sweet if it if it just barely fit in there. You want to use that? Well, it is the bigger frame. Yeah. It does look a little bit more stable than that one. And. That's a there, rectangle, and this is a rectangle. There's more room on this frame than that frame. I wouldn't even call that a frame. That frame has the axle's been cut, and it just it's it bad. Looks terrible. It's pretty bad. So I'm gonna try to shoehorn this. <clears throat> it could almost go in from the back. Almost. Almost. I don't think it'll do it though. I think what we're gonna run into is this air box mm. is going to hit down, down on there. Alright, there it is. I'll get the clutch. Dude! Look at this. Dude! Clutch. Is that the right chain? It is yeah, the right chain. Right, chain. right sprocket too. And we got a little bit, we got to polish, we got to polish out, the uh, polish up the crankshaft because it is rusty and we don't want to get stuck. But, dude, it's not bad. This is like it was meant to be. Look at that. We might have to. Yeah. Wow, it's going to be an engine out to change the clutch. So we already started working on this uh, cart. Yep, the, the engine back flipped out on Yeah. But that's okay. So uh, the yellow mark right there and the yellow mark right there. Charles is going to drill those out for yep. the uh, engine plate. This is our Go Power Sports engine plate that we're going to. Uh, weld into place because that's the other side of the engine plate. Yeah, it may it may look like there's two engines going in this, but no, it's just one. It's just one. <laughs> Although, if you think about it, 
We could. Four engines. Oh, yeah, four engines. Four cylinders. Four cylinders. So I'm going to be working on like a cross piece right here so we can weld in this plate solid. Yep. And so it's, yeah, so I've got to drill these holes. We'll reset the engine back on here, make sure it's in place. But there's one thing that we forgot to mention, or either we did, but we'll say it again. There's no keyway on this crankshaft. Well, you're gonna fix that. Yeah, we got lucky enough that we had a one inch clutch and it's one inch. So I'll remove this and go back there and cut a keyway in there. So that's my job and Ike's got the other half of the motor plate. Yep. loose oh this is the uh, the key that we've, that we've got to cut I've already made a mark and realized I needed to bring y'all along with us on this journey going back in Something two minutes ago, I don't know what it was. It was oh, out by no. where they keep all the trash trucks. Uh -huh. I was talking to John actually. Oh no. I was like, I hit something. He's like, meh. Well, and uh, man, it's like, it didn't even Flat make flat. it. Oh yeah. Like, I can hear yeah. the air hissing out of it. That's it's not uh, halfway between the truck. Oh no. It's halfway between here and the shop. Okay. Hey, Taylor. Or here in the gate. What do you think of that massive engine on that go tour? Very beefy. One more. I think that ought to do. Cool. There's not a lot of uh, pressure on it. Okay. Yeah, it's just an anchor. Just yeah. an anchor point. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool deal. Yeah, man, it's fuel tank and uh, and then a ride. A chain. That's it. Yeah, yeah, cool deal. So I just got that hooked up. We're working on it with the uh, foot pedal stuff. I've got the chain on. Everything's set up there. Uh, the motor mounts are done. Had to do a little bit of spacing on all four corners, but uh, who's who's worried about that? Yeah. No big deal. But uh, should be. Should be firing this thing up uh, pretty soon. So we have this thing pretty well done. We're ready for a test drive. Charles is going to fill it up. Uh, we're hoping that the fuel pump is going to be working on this thing. It didn't look like it was working that great uh, when we were first running this engine. So fingers crossed. Now we're going to put a jack underneath the back end so when we crank it up if it's if it's a runaway we don't lose her and then uh charles volunteered to be the first guinea pig <laughs> oh well to uh ride the go-kart
that. We'll mess, we'll mess with the carburetor and uh, we'll see y'all soon. Oh, there it goes. Uh oh. What's going on? Go in. You're hot on. Okay. Oh no! That's not good. What's going on? It's shooting oil out of the exhaust. Are we over full? Ow, ow, that's really hot. That was dumb. But uh, maybe, maybe. Let's check the level. Yeah, when no, it really did it go. It really wanted to go when it when it started to go. That's why I tried doing a, a burnout or a donut, and yeah. I thought it had something, and it just, it, it's okay. It's not happy right now. Yeah. Oh, look at the intake. Is it It's cold? like iced over. Not really, but. Yeah. That's cool. All right. All right, we'll get her in the shop. Yeah, I, I checked the oil in it. I didn't check how deep it was. Oh, hold on, bud. That's it. Where's the level? Well, oh, it's, it's, it's over full. It's definitely overfilled. All right, so it's over full. So maybe we'll uh, just go ahead and uh, do an oil change on this uh, and top her up. You're gonna get a new filter? Correct amount. Yeah. We'll get a new filter. Again. Get a non fram filter. <laughs> Hopefully this thing's gonna run better. If not, then we're gonna have to uh, replace that carburetor right there with uh, like a Makuni. Yeah. All right, so we had to put some gas in it. We think that this thing's got a drinking problem. It does. It emptied out the tank. So we're gonna try to crank it up again and see if she'll take the gas. Cause it was running horribly. It, it was, and then all of a sudden it started running great. Here we go. Oh, backwards. No. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah. So you wanna you wanna build a flange for a Makuni 22? Yeah. All right, and I'll finish the exhaust. Sounds like a plan. All right, so we've done some tuning with this thing. I actually upped the jet size a lot. It could probably use some more. Uh, we've done some exhaust work, but we're not quite done with it yet. But it's getting close to the end of the day. 
and I really want to see what this thing will do in the yard and possibly even do a hot lap. So I'm not expecting anything like really, really fast. I'm just hoping for the coolness factor because let's, let's admit, a four cylinder on a go kart, that's pretty cool. So I uh, think it's a first. It might I, be. It's probably it's definitely uh, that style engine on a go kart. Oh yeah, military four cylinder. We're probably the first. So yeah. Charles, you're gonna uh, give it the first try, right? Yep. I'm gonna go play with it out All in right. the field, see what it does. Sounds good. Let's get this thing cranked up. Ready? Yeah. So, let's see. It's not perfect, but it's pretty cool. You wrap it around to where the knot hooks in. We're good. I'm good. Give it a good pull. And the way it's notched, it pops out. I think we got an oil leak back there. Uh oh. Oh! I popped the chain off. I think I can put it back on. Blow the chain. Yeah, but it's still together. So. Probably got a rock. Yeah. That's okay. No big deal. Uh... Yep, chain's back on. All right, cool. We just gotta take it easy. It does not like the bumps. But the uh, I think carburetor part or the chain? It did both. The oh, axle's yeah. really, the axle's really thin. It's like one of those five eighths ones. It's a five eighths axle. So it does not really like thin. bounces and weight. They but, like uh, to break. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I think I'm ready for a hot lap, or okay. one of us is. Sounds good. Let's line it up. All right, let's do it. All right, dude. Are you ready? Yep. On your mark. Get set. Go. It's got to be a fueling issue. Not have been a very fast lap, but it was a good finish. That's right. <laughs> it was a very good finish. All right, dude. I guess it's my turn. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. Picks up going up the hill. Oh wow, it doesn't like the turn. Oh god. It stalled. It doesn't like left hand turns. 
clock is a ticking. All right, so that is definitely a carburetor issue. save that time so we're gonna do things a little differently yeah because the definitely. time was so bad unfortunately it's not even gonna be on the it's board. not on the board so we're just gonna do our little magnets on our phone yeah all right I've got your time and I've got, got your time now I gotta say I feel like this car has a lot of potential but given not the good. amount of time that we were given to build this cart while John was out of town uh, you know we this and that, is, and that frame, that frame is not the best. That frame is junk. Uh, you busted the front rim on the right. Did you go off road or something? Did I guess I did. I guess I did. Okay. Dang. Yeah, I'm, it is what it is. I'm sorry. It's a go kart, dude. I'm just using that as my excuse for being so slow. <laughs> All right. So uh, I really like the cart. The engine on it, it's a 525 cubic inch. Our CC engine. Yeah. It's a 32 cubic inch Five engine. Five. Yeah. And it's so smooth. And when the power kicks in, it's the, actually frightening. It's actually really, really strong. So uh, a bit of tuning, I feel like that thing will be pretty yeah. fast. Now, yeah. jump cut to me doing a 180 or a 360 with a power band kicking in. Yeah. Right. So now. I already know that I'm the slowest one. So Charles, you stalled. You stalled out. I stalled. So your time was a 137.19. That's not bad, and I had to get off and I had to pull start it. Yeah. Okay, well, yours was a 1. 13.82. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to baby it. I didn't want and, the chain to pop off. You know, most of the time yeah. that thing was running on two cylinders. Okay. Wasn't well, it? All right. Well, so, uh, we hadn't even gotten a name for this thing that's yet. That's all right. But remember to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family. Go to our, go to our website, cars-cameras.com. Pick up some quality merch. I got Go Power Sports merch on. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you, Go Power Sports, because they provided the carburetor, uh, the chain. I think the clutch. Uh, I'm not sure. The bearings? Oh, the bearings. The front yeah, wheel the bearings that we the front replaced. Wheel. We didn't even video. So thank you, Go Power Sports. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you tell John you want to see more videos like this, like us, with just us, because <laughs> uh, I had a blast. So th yeah. guys, thanks for watching, and we'll keep. We'll catch y'all later. Bye. You might be able to do it if you took some stuff off and then reassembled it after the engine was in the frame. But, uh, that's... I mean, dude, I'm like... The, the problem is, is that, like, that's the shift. Yeah. And then in order to get that to line up with that sprocket right there. We'd have to put a live axle on it. Yeah. Or a jack shaft or something. Or a jack shaft. But man, it'll be wild. Would be. Good thought though.